find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y equals x cubed y equals 8 and the y axis about the y axis and we are using the method of shells okay so first we need to graph these curves y equals x cubed which is uh, here is the vertical axis y and horizontal axis x y equal a x cubed so this is y equals a x cubed y equals 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is the line horizontal line y equals 8 and the y axis y axis is this so the region we are considering is this okay and we want to rotate about y axis so rotate about y axis okay and we are using the method of shell and whenever we use the shell method we have to take the representative rectangle parallel to the axis of rotation so we need to take a small rectangle rectangle with a small width that width will be on x axis here this is I mean horizontal axis so a small width here or here same thing that's the delta x and the width suggests the volume formula will be in terms of x okay that means the curve should be written as y as a function of x which is already the case so this is good now this is the this is the any point on the curve let's say x comma y and y is given by x cubed okay we want to write everything in terms of x because our volume formula will be in terms of x next we want to find this point of intersection because this small rectangle could be taken anywhere anywhere in between here and here this is 0 x equals 0 but how about this so what is the value of x okay so x cubed and 8 intersect at so you can do a little bit of work x cubed equals 8 implies what is x take cube roots of both sides so x equals 2 so this should be 2 and this is kind of obvious 2 cubed is 8 okay let me erase this part and this small rectangle could be taken anywhere in between 0 and 2 so 0 to 2 and area of the shell that we find when we rotate this about y axis okay when we rotate this small uh, sample rectangle about y axis so we're gonna get the outside of the cylinder that's the shell of the cylinder so let me draw over here so we'll have like this and here is the y axis okay and this is the point the base point is here x y y is x cubed and we have x axis here now we need to find the area surface area of this cylinder okay which is a in our formula okay this is the a so the surface area of the cylinder which is the area of the shell is a in terms of x is 2 pi radius high 2 pi r h so 2 pi radius times height so let's find the radius okay radius is the distance this distance is the area so that's the r which is x okay so r is x and height is this is the height okay this is the height uh, in this case x and this distance is x cubed no this the whole that, that's a mistake here is the 8 all the time right and this height below this point that's the x cube the total height is 8 this height is 8 
and below this point that's x cube x x cubed so this height will be total height h minus the bottom part the bottom part is x cubed okay so the height will be 8 minus x cubed so let me write over here so 2 pi radius this distance which is x and height is total height 8 minus the below is x cubed so 8 minus x cubed okay now we have the surface area all we have to do is plug this into the formula volume formula and get the answer okay let me do that then the volume of the solid of revolution is going from 0 to 2 area is 2 pi x 8 minus x cubed dx okay now we can pull 2 pi outside and simplify inside just distribute 8x minus x to the fourth dx 2 pi let's integrate 8 8 x x square over 2 so 4 x square 8 is 8 anti derivative of x is x square over 2 2 cancels 8 4 times minus x 4 x 5 over 5 and we want to evaluate from 0 to 2 okay 2 pi outside evaluate this function for 2 replace x by 2 so 4 times 2 is squared 2 is squared is 4 so 4 times 4 16 that's the upper limit 16 I'm going upper limit minus lower limit lower limit means plug in 0 for x so we're gonna get 0 uh, 2 fifth 32 over 5 32 over 5 so 2 pi 16 minus 32 over 5 16 is how many fifths 16 times 5 is 80 80 fifths 80 fifths minus 32 fifths so 80 minus 32 so 8 okay and 4 so 48 fifths okay 42 times 2 is 96 fifths by cubic units final